Okay, so today I wanted to go over how you can upgrade your car from Autopilot 1.0 to Autopilot 2.0. There are a few cases where you can do this. If you have already ordered your car, but have not taken delivery yet, you might be able to do this. If your car has already been produced with Autopilot 1.0, unfortunately this will not work for you. If your car is waiting for delivery, chances are this won't work for you because they just started Autopilot 2.0 almost two weeks ago. There are other cases that you can do if your car was produced with Autopilot 1.0. I'll talk about that later in the video, but for now I'm going to talk about if your car has not been produced yet or was produced with Autopilot 2.0 and you just found out about it. You should be receiving an email, so I want to walk you through that email. Okay, so here is the email that I have received from Tesla and what we will do is go ahead and click on upgrade now. This will open up a new window and it will list our name and our reservation number which I am going to blur out just so I don't have people messing with my account. It will say order selection please make a selection. So here we have it. Enhanced Autopilot is going to be $2,500 more than Autopilot 1.0 if you had previously purchased your car. If you do not want to upgrade to Enhanced Autopilot aka Autopilot 2.0 you do not have to pay the 2500 and they will software limit enhanced autopilot just to be the features that were in autopilot 1.0 so if you're fine with autopilot 1.0 and don't want to spend the money you certainly don't have to this is in case you want to upgrade now if you don't pay the 2500 dollars ahead of time you will have to pay 3500 after delivery so you will save a thousand dollars there as of right now they're projecting that enhanced autopilot will be available and the software update will be pushed out in December. Again, that's subject to regulatory approval, but it would be nice if that happened. Now the full self-driving capability feature, that is also an option you can add. It is $3,000 if you order it before you take delivery of your car or $4,000 afterwards. So if you want both enhanced autopilot and full self-driving capability, it will be $5,500 before you take delivery of your car. If you want it after delivery, it will be $7,500. So they are charging $1,000 premium on both of those packages if you decide to wait. So in here, what we would do is just click on what we want. You can see it totals it up right here and you just hit add to order and it will upgrade you just like that. It's super nice and easy to do, doesn't take much, but if you have not taken delivery of your car yet and it has not been produced yet, you can go ahead and upgrade to the enhanced autopilot features for that price. They are starting to send out these emails, so you should be receiving it soon if you have not already. Now, if your car has already been produced with autopilot 1.0, just make sure you check with your delivery specialist, your owner advisor, or somebody to confirm that. There are a couple options you do have. One, you can cancel your order and reorder. Oftentimes, you'll be able to move your deposit right over. If anything, you'll just be subject to the new pricing. You will not be grandfathered in at that point. Another option you have is to just take delivery of your Autopilot 1.0 car now if you're happy with it and wait until some of these other features are kind of ironed out and just trade in your car or lease or whatever you have and upgrade to a new car at that time. So I've heard it several ways. I have friends right now that have not taken delivery of their car but were supposed to yesterday, which is Friday, and they were told that they can just cancel their order and move their deposit over to the new car, of course be subject to the new pricing, but at least that way they will get the latest and greatest in autopilot. I don't know if that's every case, but I've talked to a few friends so far and that's what they've been able to do. So it's certainly an option you should ask your owner advisor or delivery specialist about. So hopefully that makes things a little clearer for you guys. People who have taken delivery of their car a day or two before the announcement, I feel your pain, but at the same point, the way technology is these days is by tomorrow something else out will be better. Your Autopilot 1.0 car is perfectly fine, that's what I have. Will I be upgrading? Yes, probably, but I decided probably gonna just wait till next year, maybe June or December. The Autopilot 2.0 features won't even be available till December at the earliest, so it doesn't really make so much sense for me to flip my current car that quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. I would recommend anybody that has theirs go ahead and keep it, enjoy it. They're great cars nonetheless. I just see so many people lately just hating on Tesla, saying how could Tesla do this to me? I feel like Tesla just screwed the valuation of my car. It's still worth a considerable amount of money. 
the new autopilot is more expensive, it didn't really devalue your car that much. Just try to look at the bright side. I don't like seeing all this hate on the forums and on Facebook basically complaining about how Tesla destroyed their car value and isn't valuing their customers. They are, but if you don't want them to stop innovating, we're gonna be stuck at the same situation we're at. Every quarter, they're gonna come out with something better. If you don't want a car that has not got the latest and greatest, either one, you're buying a new car every quarter, or you're never gonna buy a car. It's simple as that. So give Tesla a little slack. They're trying to innovate. Personally, I think this whole thing with Autopilot 2.0 wasn't even scheduled to come out until December or maybe even June of next year. The whole fiasco breaking up with Mobile Eye is causing Tesla to push out Autopilot 2.0 on their own sooner than probably originally planned. So if anybody should be blamed, it's just Mobileye. Let's just blame all everything on Mobileye from now on. So just look at the bright side, keep your chin up, enjoy your car. They're still fabulous cars. Autopilot 1.0, I have had very few issues with. I've driven it over 8,000 miles now and I've loved every minute of it. So yeah, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know your experience too, drop it down there. And uh, let's see if all the owner advisors and delivery specialists are on the same page. You never know. Maybe somebody out there has a special deal that you can get. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'm going to go ahead and take my Autopilot 1 car on a great drive in the mountains and love every minute of it. And I would suggest you guys do the same thing too. Talk to you later.